So the first step to any Blue Apron recipe is to prepare the ingredients. So, let's get started. The first step is to prepare the onions. So you cut off the two ends, have it, and then you want one inch section. So I use my hand as a little bit of a measuring tool. And you do this to two of the onions. With the last onion, you want to complete the same activity, but now we're going to dice the onions. So I have a special technique for this that I learned in a cooking class. It makes it a lot easier. So you just cut crosswise like that, make a series of cuts pointing towards the root, and then you cut from the end. And as you can see, the onion is already diced. The minor exceptions. Mm -hmm. So this is my special technique again in case you missed it the first time. You go flat wise first. Then you cut towards the root. Still leaving all the pieces connected to the root. And then you cut crosswise. And your onion is magically diced. Boom. The key to garlic is to break that outer shell with the flat of your knife. So now that that's popped off, it's much easier to peel off the crinkly outer layer. There you go. And you just repeat that with all four cloves. Okay, rinse it off. Five second rule. We're cool. That's fine. Good work, ladies and team. <laughs> Sometimes food will end up on the ground. And that's okay. It's good for the immune system. I have these special tricks for garlic. I just. Maybe try to cut it horizontally first. You did do that, Patrick. Seems like you're cutting it vertically right now. Look at that. It's like partially minced already. I feel like that's more of a medium chop than a mince. You didn't even mince those onions. You just kind of chop them. Small cubes. It said to dice. Dicing is literally small cubes. Oh, well you called it mincing. Did it? In the video, yeah. Well, I'd like to make an edit, folks. That was dicing, not mincing. I'll show you how to mince right now once I'm done dicing this garlic. Good recovery. Because first you got to dice. Then you move on to mincing. So, you know, I got your diced garlic here.
here. And what you do, you just plow through it. Yeah. Get it. And you gather it all up again for the slaughter. And you attack again. I don't even want to talk about my new can opener. It's fine, I'm just going to use it. Let's see if it's any good. It's a dream come true. A can opener that actually opens cans. This is the best. We have to edit out all this audio. Why? Ah, oh, it's the best. <laughs> it's part of the process. Always keep the lid on the can. It helps you with rinsing. This really is the best can opener ever. You see how easy this is? It's not even hurting my fingers right now. It just works. So if you keep the lid on, you just do this. Boom. Give cilantro a chance. Actually, I think it tastes like soap. It's awful. Truly awful. But the recipe says it's required, so I'm going to put it in anyway. I trust you. There's my sous chef. Good boy. Hey, bud. Come here. I don't think he likes walking in his apron. I don't think so either. But it's for his own protection. Otherwise, really? he'll spill things all over himself. and Patrick are doing tricks in the background. I'm jealous. He's tucking his apron in. Chop, chop, chop. How much am I even supposed to chop? Chop this? your booty. Chop your booty. Okay, it's time to salt and pepper on all sides. This is a beautiful piece of meat. I'm excited. Patrick's excited. Grumps is excited. So let's just make sure to treat it right. Oh, this looks good. This looks real good. Check that out. Oh yeah. Next, it says, in a large high-sided pan, heat two tablespoons of olive oil on um, medium high until hot. Add the seasoned pork and cook, turning occasionally four to six minutes or until browned on all sides. Leaving any brown bits in the pan on the stove, transfer to one side of the prepared sheet pan. Okay. This is looking good. You can see by how fluid it is that it is indeed preheated. So now, put this bad boy in. Oh yeah, look at that sizzle. Looking pretty good. We're gonna put this in the oven or we'll... Yeah. So, I judge that this pork tenderloin is done. Do we need a spritz of oil or anything? Well, we just put it there. And then we turn our attention to these onions, which need salt and peppering. There we go. We need two bowls. Get a firm grip on it. style shake weight for your biceps and your triceps oh yeah okay looking good moving 
on in our agenda, transfer to the other side of the prepared sheet pan, spread it out a bit, let these onions be free, and now we're going to pop those in the oven for 26 to 28 minutes. Ooh, I'm going to get those weight. Anybody else like watching buttermilk? It's pretty enthralling. Our butter's coming along nicely. Yeah. We are all melted. It's time to add those onions. I'm going to turn down our stove because it's got a very powerful stove. Hey, shut up! I'm trying to make a video over here. Gosh, some people, am I right? Alright, you never yell at grumps like that. <laughs> I think I know not to burn myself. So I do like to cook a lot. I even have a food blog that I have not blogged in a while. But I'm thinking, with all this Blue Apron cooking, I'm going to get back into it. Blue Apron is very inspirational. Kind of makes you think that you actually can cook something delicious. And nutritious. These aren't softening up too much, so I'm going to pump up the heat. Jill, what's your food blog called? My food blog is called Tasty Tinkering. Thanks for asking. It's great. I love it. And where can we find it online? At tastytinkering.com, obviously. Who do you think I am? Now we have the water and the brown sugar, which has, interestingly enough, come in two packages. Odd. But I'll allow it. Again, it's very hot up here. Woo! Okay, mix that all up. We got some onion stew. Okay, now we have to heat the pan of reserve from on medium high until hot. As you can see, I jumped the gun a little bit. It's not really hot. It'll get there. It will get there. Oh yeah, this smells pretty fragrant to me. So I think it's time to add the beans. Okay, now we're going to season with salt and pepper and cook, stirring occasionally, three to four minutes. Sounds like a great plan to me. Next, we're going to add the honey, half the vinegar, and half a cup of water. So, I always just kind of eyeball it, you know, it's about half right there. There we go. Ooh, honey is such a good ingredient to use. Delicious. The only problem with honey is it's hard to get all of it out. So, what I like to do, add a little bit of the water there. Cap it up and mix it up. You know, because we might as well get everything out of there that we can. 
That is going to be sweet and delicious. Okay. Looking good. What's our next step, boys and girls? There we go. And this will actually be done right around when the pork is done. So that's off to Blue Apron for planning the timing of this recipe so well. Check in on these guys. They're looking good over here. Okay, we are getting down to the wire here. The beans are done. The onions are caramelized. Let's turn off the heat here. And we want to add the onions to the beans. Really mix those up good. Oh, that looks delicious. And the final ingredient, despite my reservations, I will add it. We'll add a little bit of cilantro, just a bit. Not too much, guys. Because cilantro tastes like soap. Just a little bit. A little bit of greenery, if you will. That's it, folks. We've got our beans. We got three minutes until the pork's ready. All we have to do now is start working on the dishes. Unfortunately, it was always the bane of any cooking experience. It's finally time. The pork is ready. Let's take a look here. Oh yeah. Perfect. That looks delightful, folks. But now I'm going to have a guest on the show. My husband Patrick is always the best meat handler. So he's going to take care of this bad boy while I finish up the onions. Woo! So Patrick is making a guest appearance because he is the meat master. When it comes to preparing meat, there is no other. So let's look at his deft hands at work here. Oh yeah. There you go. Hey. Pretty well done, huh? Oh, did I do it too well? I bet it's going to be delightful. I hope so. Yes, that is meat, yeah. ladies and gentlemen. You want to try some? I would love to try some, sure. Mmm, it's really good. Thank you, Blue Apron. This is delicious. I got so excited about it that I spilled wine all over my dress. So here are my eating clothes. And it's time to enjoy what all that work made for us. So I hope that we win and we get to go to New York and take some cooking classes and keep making delicious, delicious food. You drank the rest of the wine.